that we are a strong country, that we are a country that whenever the world has called on us to do something right, we've done our best to do it. We didn't always get it right, but we certainly tried. Canadians have always been welcoming. Please come to our country. Enjoy the same fruits that we've enjoyed. Clean grass, clean water. You can drink clean water out of any public toilet in this country, anywhere. And it's cleaner than what 80% of the planet gets to drink from a river or their own sewer systems. I'm not your dog, I'm not gonna drink out of no let's, toilet. Let's talk about that. <laughs> but you understand my point. It's clean here, it's safe here. We've built an incredible country here. And now we have a prime minister who's giving it away. But for no good reason. What's the end game? What is the goal when Canadians are divided and not unified? I'll tell you what it is. Violence in the streets, that's what it is. Civil war, that's what it is. There will be enclaves in this country of people who are just Canadians, just white, just brown, just black, just Muslim, just Christian. That's not what Canada is. I do not want enclaves here. I do not want separation here. I want a unified country. Yeah. I want to make sure that everybody in this country has exactly the same rights that I had and their children have the opportunity to have the amazing childhood that I had. I'm not asking that much, am I? No. 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 So my throat is done, folks. I'll stay and answer <laughs> questions. And I love you all for coming. Stay patriotic. Kevin. Yeah. Excuse me, sir. Can I ask you what you're here for? Well, I'm here for. Yeah. I'm here for freedom. I'm here because my tax dollars, I work hard for my money and my tax dollars, goes to a public school system that I went to and I went growing up through a public school in high school. Uh, we had separate schools, private schools for religious institutions, except for Catholic schools, which is publicly funded, which I disagree with 100%. Um, but when we start introducing any sort of religious aspects and into public school, that is where my money goes. Mm -hmm. what I agree with. I'm a Christian. I don't believe in religious prayer in public school. Yeah. But I don't believe in Islamic practice. I don't believe in Judaism practice. Yeah. I believe in going there to learn. I believe in going there to, to grow as a human being. Okay. Religious institutions and families are where you uh, gain your moral grounds and where you gain your religious stance. Wow. So, do you feel like people just don't understand, especially those who are against this? That are against this sort of situation. Yeah. Yeah, I believe that. Like, did you see those people who were like saying shame or like the professor? Well, because I, I think because I'm only 20 years old, surprisingly, believe it or not. But, <laughs> wow. So, um, I grew up recently with this sort of culture in the schools. I grew up with sort of better lack of terms, brainwashing from the teachers. I've never been to post secondary, but I'm a, I'm a tradesman, I'm a carpenter. Um, I've never been to post secondary school, I'm like university or college, but I can see at a young age of grade nine how they're trying to indoctrinate kids. And I believe that 100%. My family has never been very not conservative, but libertarian. Mm -hmm. They've never really been very libertarian. I grew up um, in a family that that didn't really speak out a lot. And yeah. One of the first ones that do because I see how it is. So it's, I think that there's a lot of brainwashing within the media. And within the of course. So, it's, it's so do you have a message for the Liberal government or Justin Trudeau? Either reform your party completely to where it used to be 50 years ago. Oh or yeah. You're expect a rebellion. That's it. Wow. So you think there might be like a rebellion starting? A political rebellion, or political? they don't do anything within 20, 30 years yet, and a physical rebellion as well. Um, I can't really see myself being part of the physical rebellion, but political rebellion against the liberals definitely. Wow. And and what do you think of what's going on in America, especially with Trump? It's not my country. I don't have an opinion on it. Do you have no opinion on it? Do you like him? I like him as a politician. 